Hill. Hill again. Now a long ball for Lineker to chase and just look at his pace. The pace of Gary Lineker brings his 33rd goal of the season. When he started the chase for that long clearance that came from very deep in Everton's half, he seemed to be a yard and a half behind the defenders, but when he got to the ball, he was half a yard ahead of them. And that's why Gary Lineker is the top marksman in Britain. Pointed. Again, Everton keeping possession. Oh, Sharp has to be two. Well, in defence of Graham Sharp, I don't think he could believe that because it came to him through the legs of the defender. Went through his own legs and then he turned and scooped at it and put it wide. David Priest. So quickly the Everton players are closing him down. Harford for Priest. So David Priest. Luke can get it back. And Mitchell Thomas. Oh, but knocks it down for Steen! Well, young Mark Steen playing the biggest match of his career tonight in this quarter-final replay was set up there by Mick Harford, the big centre forward, who won it in the box, knocked it down for him. And Steen turned and knocked it wide, and that was a golden opportunity, and there won't be many of those for Luton tonight. It's broken for Sharp. Bracewell. Oh, that came off the fullback Johnson. As far as Lineker, who was brought down by Seeley, and it's a penalty. Well, that stemmed from the mistake by the fullback Rob Johnson. He missed it, it ran past him to Gary Lineker. And as ever, the Lineker speed was there and evident. Seeley quickly off his line, brought down the Everton striker. The referee looked across at the linesman, and then after some hesitation, decided that the offence was inside the box. It's a penalty for Everton, but don't forget, Luton were two up in the first match at Kenilworth Road on Saturday, and Everton came back to make it 2-2. Trevor Stephen. Good stop by Seeley and behind by Maldonaki. And how important might that save be at the end of this match? Well, Trevor Stephen probably didn't strike it quite as well as he would have wished, but a good stop by the keeper. Lenica chesting it down for Bracewell and Sharp! Foster was there, but Sharp got to it first. A snapshot at goal, and Seeley went down to make a very good save, right by the foot of the post. Ricky Hill. Nicholas for David Priest. And Daniel! Oh! He's hit the post! Luton's best chance. As Nicholas is penalised for a foot up against Bracewell. And I'm sure there was a moment of frustration there for Peter Nicholas because Luton were within inches of equalising. The substitute, Ray Daniel, who's only scored once previously this season, with the goal at his mercy, and he hit it against...